Hello guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. Last episode guys, we blew up the Pridwin. Here it is. It's finally stopped burning after the rain came down from the heavens. Oh my god, there's a thunderstorm over there, Jesus. And I thought, you know, before we start the next quest, I just wanted to quickly explore the ruin and see if there's any survivors <laughs> or any bodies at least littering the ground underneath the Bridwin. I mean, it completely changed the location. This actually gives me a little bit of an idea, or us a little bit of an idea of um, Fallout 76. Let me turn up the, the volume of the, uh, the desktop here. Usually I have it on 55. There we go. Because, as you guys know, you'll be able to nuke other people's settlements and locations on the map. So if you actually nuke a settlement, it could completely change the location. And this is one of those examples, I guess, where the airport used to be here and there used to be a brotherhood base, but now it's just the Predwin ruin and what's left of it. Actually getting radiation here, Piper, what's going on? Do I have my hazmat suit? I don't think I do actually anymore. Rip. I have some suspenders and slacks though. Look, look at this guys this looks awesome so guys what i'm going to do today is we're going to do the final mission for the railroad which will basically finish off the entire quest line i'm going to drop that um because oh i've got some spare armor here i don't need let's drop this too brotherhood of steel uniform actually no we're army fatigue so we get an extra plus one strength and agility it's called the nuclear option and we're going to go back to the railroad road and turn in our quest, Rocket's Red Glare, for destroying the Brotherhood ship. Straight off, we have a little look around the area. Forget the radiation, who cares? There's actually quite a lot of rads here. Should have brought my power arm with me. I want to see if there's anything around here. It's just an absolute ruin now. Man, it was so funny last episode. We, uh... We were killing the people in the Brotherhood, in the blimp, and I found this really cute cat, and I was like, oh, look at the little cat. And then 10 minutes later, you know, I've plotted all the bombs, and I'm on the way away from the Brotherhood in the Vertibird, like, escaping, and suddenly, this plane doesn't have a black box, I don't think, so we can't discover the story behind it. You know, the blimp blows up, and then everyone in the chat's like, what about the cat ESO? And I completely forgot about this cat, and we... It was the last survivor on the blimp. We've killed everyone in the Brotherhood, just this one cat surviving. And we completely blew the crap out of it. And I feel so bad about this cat, still, to this day. There's even a boat here. What a absolute mess. Oh, can we go inside here? Oh, no, we can't. I thought there'd be something interesting here. But so far, there is not. I've never actually bothered to explore the blimp. Does anyone know if there's anything interesting inside it? Oh, one sec. Holy shit. Brotherhood scribe. So there are actually dead Brotherhood people here. Boom! Get wrecked, Brotherhood. Let's throw his head in an unmarked grave. I don't think there's any enemies or anything, though. We literally killed everyone. I mean, if a blimp crashed into you, I suppose you'd be dead as well. Now we can get some extra fusion cores. I think there's only one here, though, to be honest. Powering this relay here. It's actually a radiation storm outside. That's why I keep getting radiation. I'm not going to steal that because Piper won't like it. I'm still trying to get with her. Oh, oh, no, no Nuka-Cola. That leads me outside. Very nice. Yeah, this is just... Oh, what's that? There's a duffel bag there. She won't, she won't see me. I need these 45 rounds. We need them to take the Institute. We've actually set up a, uh, a rebellion inside the Institute. So I'm pretty excited to see what happens when we actually go in there and start blowing everything up and seeing if our, our synths have truly turned against the Institute and they're going to fight for their freedom or not. My god, this is a complete wreck. It's pretty interesting though. I wish they had like some kind of little 
I don't know, secret boss chest or something with a unique weapon in you get for like destroying the institute or just Elder Maxon's body. But because he's not actually on the blimp when we blow it up, it's implied that he doesn't die. Which makes me think, actually, that the ending for the game, in terms of Fallout 5 and what happens next, it could be considered canon that the Brotherhood is the winning faction. Uh, and then the storyline goes on from there. Oh, Piper just appeared. I was a bit freaked out by that, actually. Because otherwise, Elder Maxim would have been on the blimp. Whereas, we have all of the other faction leaders. And depending on what ending we choose, all of the other faction leaders are killable apart from Elder Maxim. Which makes me think, even if you kill the Brotherhood, and even if things don't go well, Bethesda can still explain, like in Fallout 5, if it's like a carry-on game or a later game, that um, Maxon can still appear, and I don't think his storyline is over, which is really interesting. Okay, guys, let's... Um, you, can, you can kill him, yes, but I think it can explain a way, depending how you end the game, that it's potentially not... He doesn't have to die. Okay, so let's, let's head over to the railroad. I've not found anything else interesting here, really. I was expecting to find a few more bodies. We only found one Brotherhood of Steel member who actually survived. And that was it, really. Nice to see you guys in the chat. I'm glad you find my videos helpful. Thank you for letting me know. I know I'm doing something right now. Oh, sh oh my god. No way. Proctor Ingham. Look at that bay haircut we've got with the mods. If you guys want the mod list here, by the way, guys, it's linked below in the description. She is invincible. That power armor is keeping her head screwed on pretty tight. Piper's got a Gatlin laser gun out. She's ready. Let's go back to the railroad, turn in this quest, and continue the storyline, guys. For the Brotherhood. <laughs> There are some quests after you finish the final quest, but they're more like cleanup quests, like side quests, really. So this is the final one. Are you going to kill Dance? We will find out. I didn't employ him as a follower, so I assume he's already dead, actually. Hey, bro. Deacon looks... <laughs> he looks so weird. Look at him. Hey. Want me back on deck, huh? I got to admit, things have been pretty quiet without you. Uh, no, you know, I want Piper with me, bro. We got that Baymance, not I the thought, Bromance. I thought by calling Red Glare I'd lose more good people. Comrades, thank you for keeping them and yourself safe. She gave me a lot of caps there. So I assume, yeah, the church is safe now. Is the church safe now? With the Pridwin destroyed, the Brotherhood survivors will leave the Commonwealth on foot. But we're not out of the woods yet. If the Brotherhood managed to find us, you can bet your ass the SRB is not far behind. We've run out of time. Our next step is to attack the Institute. Lucas, thank you very much for the donation. Bro, man, I never skip the dialogues. You should know that. You say that as if, yeah, suddenly no sarcasm for the win. You say it that way, and suddenly I'm nervous. You're one of a kind, you know that, right? Okay, so here's the plan. Go back inside the Institute and secure the relay. The instant you do, the Institute and the SRB will mobilize. So teleport us in quickly. We join forces with Z-114 and the Rebel Synth. Then together we fight our way to the fusion reactor. Let's go. Tell me about the... Uh... What about rescuing the synths? That's not your job. We've got people assigned to maintain control of the relay room and teleport synths out nonstop. We need our best people doing the tricky part of the operation. So that means you will be waiting. Desdemona. Get to the Institute and make contact with Z1 as quickly as possible. Very well. I shall do that. Uh, will I be doing gameplay in Fallout 76? Of course, I'll be live streaming it quite a lot actually, almost every day I think when it comes out. Um, if you guys haven't checked already, I've got a new live stream channel that I'm going to be using just for, for general live streams where I mess about with no real storyline. 
uh, and also live streaming other games on there as well. It's linked at the top of the description. Some of you might need to refresh in order for it to show up. But um, check it out. Who will be the first subscriber? It literally has no subscribers or channel art yet. So hey. come on, Piper. We need, to, we need to go. We need to head to the Institute. Let me get my gun out. It's going to be a stealth mission, guys. Uh, deliverer. How many people can we kill? How many synths can we kill? More like it. We know that some of the synths are going to rebel against us. Yeah, so for Fallout 76, I'm really excited for it. Um, if you guys didn't know, the beta is starting in October. I just released a video about it. Um, it's it, Check out my main channel if you haven't seen it yet. The Institute is here. What are you doing, ESO? The nuclear option. Here we go. The Institute. We have some extremely interesting dialogue with Father as well at this point. And also, a little secret um, holotape you can get. But you have to kind of make the right decision. So I'll show you. I'll show you that. Some of you might have not made the same choices. You subbed. Awesome. 33 subscribers on the new channel. Let's go, guys. Thank you so much for the support on it. I might stream some uh, Hunt Showdown later on it, you know. Look at this guy standing there with a mug. We got more than enough power thanks to the new reactor. Doesn't even make eye contact. He's like, more than enough power, bro. Okay, I need to go to the reactor room, so... Oh, God's sake. Gotta call the lift down. Look how quick it is. Jesus. I swear it's not that fast usually. Um. Heads up. Do I want Piper to come with me? Yeah, she, I'm probably going to need her help, to be honest. Piper. Get in Heads here. up. Just let me know. I want to... Yeah, you're following. Great. She'll just teleport up. Boom. I'm making... I'm working on a video at the moment. Um about father and what happens if you like kill him immediately and the implications of that option and i'm going to be working on another video uh just like the whole storyline of father and what kind of person he is and like the moral decisions he makes and why he makes them and why i think he's a really interesting character i think actually doing another let's play of the game has really caught my interest again that like especially the main quest is actually a really good one Something about disappearing synths, I think. Disappearing? Must be something to do with the salvage teams. I believe so, yeah. Apparently, the SRB can't figure it out. Dr. Ao's been on a tear lately trying to get to the bottom of it. What do you think? It's got to be someone on the inside. And when Ao finds out who, there'll be hell to pay. She knows. <clears throat> Sounds like those raiders at Libertad. She knows. To They're on to me. Ha ha ha, look. Just pretending like nothing's going on. I've been looking for you. Is it time? Once we act, we have committed. There will be no going back. Is everything ready? Is everything ready here? Yes. Shall we proceed? Oh, we ready? I'm not sure. <laughs> Should we do it? Are you guys ready? You ready for this? Everything's ready. It's time. Let's Good. go. We'll need to clear this room before I can do more. Okay, no worries, bro. That's easy. Failed. End of the line. That was siding with the Institute, so clearly, you know, we can't go any further on that one. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for everyone to be sort of headshot range. Ah, oh, there's quite a few synths in here, which I want to get rid of first. So, stop identifying me, you bastard. I need to be hidden for the two times sneak damage bonus. Piper, this is really annoying. Get out of my way, please. Just need to stand in the right place. Here we fuck's sake, Piper. No, Psst. here. Of course. Just don't move. Okay, okay. Here we go. Combat initiated. Well, that didn't go as planned, but we got rid of the Sims. Apart from one, Piper's destroying the in. Oh my God! He didn't even have an arm to fight with. Ow. Kill it, Piper. We're good. 
Just give me a few moments. Better in our hands anyway. Let's take the synth filled helmet. I already have the coordinates. It looks awesome. Oh god! To update the relay. And your companions will arrive in a moment. He's zapping all the people in from the railroad, guys. Better do it quicker. Boom! She's like not even phased. You did it. There's no turning back now. If they're not already on to us, they will be within seconds. <sighs> A response would be appreciated. What do you mean? You were the one standing there. What's the plan? Take this. It's a fusion pulse charge. Tinker Tom's rigged it to take out the reactor and anything else within a few hundred yards of it. Fusion pulse charge. Do you not know think it's a bit weird how like every like faction in Fallout, like the way they solve things with the other faction is like, let's blow them up. Let's just nuke everyone. God, where'd you get this lady? Oh look, you can deconstruct it. I get two circuitry and some copper. And some nuclear material. Worth. We get you down there. You plant it. And we run like hell. When we get to a safe distance, we detonate it remotely. Then the whole institute goes up like a candle. Seems safe. And the synths stay free. Forever. This is the moment where we make history. Tom, I need you to get that relay working as fast as humanly possible. You'll need to pull us out once we're done with the reactor. And send out anyone that's unarmed. Institute personnel included. You got it, boss. All right, let's move. Let's go. There's Demona. Let's get to that reactor. Let's go. Tom, I'm relying on you to teleport us out, bro. Hey, Tom. You worry about the reactor. I'll worry about making sure this thing works when it's time to go. Yeah, you better have that working, mate. A shock baton. So, the question is, guys, shall we kill father? What do you think? Dun, 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 dun. We get some interesting dialogue depending on what we do. Old robotics. Kakoa Silver, thank you for the donation. You've been here the last few days, mate. The guy walking around Desdemona, his arm was off. Yeah, <laughs> he's he makes an appearance every stream, my friend. He uh, he does his little piece and then leaves. Well, you do realize that no one uses this area of the Institute. Hello. Where are they? Get wrecked. The thing about headshotting synths is it doesn't really work because their head just comes off. And then they carry on firing at you sometimes. Okay, look, I want to look at this terminal because it says it's advanced, but to be honest, it definitely looks like it should be a smash terminal. It's like they've put the wrong one here or something. The password is definitely blamed. I always think I have a lot, a lot of luck with guessing these. But this time, my luck has run out. Burned. Rusty. Well, let's have one more go. I guess in the right password. It's none of them. How dare you. I don't even know what this door does, but honestly, I think it probably just gets rid of the turret defense system, which is really not going to be that useful. Pretty. That was not the password, Rip. Come on, guys. There's not really any point in me looting this stuff because I don't even use energy weapons. But I just like have that compulsive disorder where I have to loot everything. Some high level synths down there. This place is so old. Now I understand. You are hiding because you fear death. It's true. He knows. Terminating with extreme Ooh, prejudice. I know we're not alone. Ah! Fucking jump scare synth for what? Jesus Christ. 
Hey, bro. Get wrecked. Oh, shit. That's a... S oh, no. I've got synth grenades equipped. You throw them and they spawn synths. But obviously, if you're not friends with the Institute, they just start killing you. <laughs> I literally spawned an extra enemy for us to kill. Ow, ow, ow. Get the hell out of here, bro. Oh, God. Please, Piper, help me. What? Why are they running past? What is going on? Kill it. Oh my god. How are you so incapable? Jesus. What was that, Piper? We have got company, it's true. I didn't even hit it with that. Well done, Piper. One sec. Oh no. I was why do you have a pipe rifle? Really? The railroad are really in, in for it, aren't they? Without my help, they would just be absolutely screwed. Give me some more explosives, please. What does this terminal do, then? I'm intrigued. Let's have a quick attempt at guessing. The screen is so, like, screwed. How could you read this? That was not the right answer. I don't want to have a 10 minute video of me sitting there hacking terminals, guys. Why are there so- oh, robotics terminal. Oh, I guess maybe I could release them. Engaging hostile life form. Oh, okay. Oh my god, that's a sentry bot. That's going to destroy everything. Oh, it's not even like a high level one. What's it doing? It's like a merely sentry bot getting owned. It's like struggling to take out one synth at the moment. As long as it goes nuclear when it gets destroyed, that would be perfect. It's literally just batting the synths over the head with it. Oh, it does have guns. Why is why was it not using them until now? Oh god, what have we done? What have we, yeah, that's it, Piper. Look at that damage. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Kill it, Piper. Piper's doing all the damage here. Why is there a synth in front of me? What is that, anyway? Oh, that's the sentry bot. Okay. Get wrecked, son. Oh, man. Miniature nuclear blast. To be honest, I don't know if that helped us. It was more annoying than anything. There's a perfectly preserved turret just sitting here it's funny i yeah at the end we will we, we will save detected. virgil guys i promise I I we will go and give the serum to virgil we can give it to him at any time though so we're golden let me actually uh eat some food i don't want to use up everything i've got I love the sound when you, like, drink a Nuka-Cola. Wow, look at all these 1,005 mil rounds. Beautiful. Is there anything in here that I can get to? Yeah, that's where we're meant to go. Let's have a quick check now. Oh, there's nothing here. Absolutely nothing. I swear there was a terminal somewhere. Yeah, just up here. Let's have a quick look at that. A novice terminal. I can do this one. Oh, yes. Look at that. Dud removed. Thank you, bro. Hard is zero likeness. So, it could be yeah. Begs. That could work. Why am I so bad? Tile wave. It has to be tile then. It was save, wasn't it? Well, hard had zero likeness, so I was just like, well, surely. Oh, well. Oh, no, it was just for the Protectron. Okay, well, I don't care. That was useless anyway. 
Open hatch. The secret entrance into the railroad. I mean, into the institute, which wasn't really very secret because we still had to teleport in here. Oh, that's cool. That is cool, man. Hell yeah. That's... Oh, God. I need... Why do they only have one door like that in the entire game? It's awesome. Wow, okay. Desdemona just, like, walking into the wall. Not as awesome now. Thank you for joining the live stream. Who's excited for Fallout 76? Very. Unfortunately, the beta only starts in October, which is surprising. Explosives, please. Yes, give me those fragos. Okay. Oh, this goes into bioscience. I wonder if it leads through the FEV lab. I already got the serum, so we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to get it again. We already came down. Did you hear that screaming? What the hell was that? I want to headshot one of these scientists. Especially that lady that triggered me previously. Oh my god, look. <laughs> Please, what are you doing? Really? You guys are incompetent as... There you go. Get wrecked, son. Boom. Oh god, there's a turret somewhere. A synth. Boom. Utilizing stealth, huh? my ass. Haha! <laughs> They're all just coming around the corner and getting headshot. Nice accuracy, bro. Look, he doesn't even have an arm. <laughs> it was the shot to the knee that ended him, guys. Oh, it's the turret up here. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, God! Haha! <laughs> Jump scare, Sin. Look at the gorillas running around. Oh, the uh, gorillas say that. Oh my god, someone opened the pen. No, don't kill the gorillas. Jesus Christ, they're scary motherfuckers. Get away from me. I don't really want to kill them, to be honest. Man, look at Piper. She just doesn't care. She's mowing them down. Oh my god, look at his face. He's so happy to see me. Me. Oh god, please! Hello? Hey, Mr. Gorilla. Oh god, he's angry. Piper, save me. Oh, that hurts quite a lot, actually. Please save me, Piper. Oh god. Synthetic Gorilla meat. That must be a really rare material. You can only get it in Nuka World otherwise, can't you? Uh, one sec, let's have a look at that. Synthetic Gorilla meat. I'm going to try and cook it later. We'll, have, we'll eat some synthetic gorilla, guys. Like, why does it have meat? That's really strange. Hmm. Where is it? Synthetic. Shouldn't it be in here? Or is it going to be in food? Like, edible food already? It is. HP. Is that 30? 30 health. Okay, we'll try and cook it later, but it's a bit weird, isn't it, Piper? Where's the other gorilla? I need all the gorilla, mate. I can... Where does it go? What did you guys do to it? My god, this lady. She literally just face-planted into the floor. Get wrecked. There you go. This is what I think of your garden. Huh. Let's put you in the... In the gorilla tank, hey? Yeah? What do you think of that, huh? Stupid scientist. What a nice little place to live. I love how he's just helping out with us. I want to, like, close it again and try and trap Piper in it for the rest of the game. That'd be funny. There's a funny quest where if you side with the Institute, um, you can basically, like, some of the, the scientists get angry that you're the new Institute director. I actually am the director at the moment. But, um, well, when my dad dies, at least. Or when my son dies, when Sean, father, dies. Um, and they, like, go and lock themselves in the gorilla tank and, 
like as a protest. It's quite funny. Lou, we're not alone here. Hmm. I am very good, you thank you, Odin. <laughs> oh my god! I am not good. I can't even see. Jesus. There's a bloody Corsa there. Can we kill the Corsa, please? Yes, we showed them. Oh! They just turned around and killed this poor innocent lady who was hiding. Oh, what are you doing, Piper? I just hit you over the head with a Molotov. Okay, that was a tree there. Look, there's a headless synth trying to kill us. Why are they still running? You should be dead. You don't have a head. The railroad have such random armor. Of course, the uniform is decent, you know. It's worth like 200 caps. Oh god, please. There's so many people. Kill them all! Oh, I thought I had a grenade perhaps. That's annoying. Get Rex, Institute Scientist. Let's let's swap it up. Let's get out the uh, the shotgun and go nuts. Oh, they locked the door, so I can't flank. Boom! Boom! Get Rex up. Oh yeah, here come the humans. Rebel Sin. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I think I've killed some of these. Hey, why are they holding Laser Institute pistols? I gave them other weapons. You were meant... There was a quest for you to arm the synths, but they don't actually use the weapons you gave them. Hello? I need to be... Hello? If I need... you can hear me... No more. I got the floor plan. Okay, good. Advanced Systems Lab. That's where the reactor is. And where you gotta go. But the doors are locked. And I can't override from here. That command has to come from the director's personal terminal. You understand? You've got to do that part yourself. How convenient. Okay, let's go to the director's terminal then. Oh, I've got to go up this way because all the doors are locked. Hey, bro. If a human isn't actively hostile, direct them to the relay room. The less violence, the better. We will fight for our freedom. We will win. <laughs> He's like, the less violence, the better. And the other one's like, we will fight for our freedom and we shall win. Savage synth confirmed. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's make a few saves. So I don't overwrite that one. Back where we started. Uh, excuse me? Okay, thank you. Piper just chilling out in the background. Are Lydia and Piper related? No. Desdemona is the same actor who plays, plays Lydia, though. Now, note, Sean is missing. Broken. Oh. Okay. It's broken, apparently. For America! Can I actually activate this? No, oh, nothing happens. Okay. What if I tell Piper to wait here when the Institute explodes? Does she just die? Shouldn't you be in bed, sir? I didn't expect to see you again. You had me fooled. I really believed you were on our side. Get ready for the fills, guys. What's up? This is a bug. He should be in bed. You know that. It will never survive without the Institute. Can I not talk to you? Sean. Just. Oh, one sec. God damn it. Sorry, I got to reload because I walked away from the conversation. And then we skipped the whole thing. <laughs> and this is an interesting one. Open the door. So, yeah, we you can talk to Father. 
Uh, we're gonna have a conversation with him. Lydia's just hanging around. Let's not have a conversation about religion in the chat. Jesus. Okay. Let me save here. It's dead. And then we'll go and talk to Father. Oh, look at this laser system. He's got it going on. Sean, I didn't expect to see you again. You had me fooled. I really believed you were on our side. What happened to you? Are you sick? Well, we know, we know he has cancer because he already told us that. Um, I'm here to blow up your reactor, Sean. Put an end to the Institute. I'm sorry it's come to this. Hmm. What's happened to you? Are you sick? Well, don't pretend to care now. You had your chance to help me and cast me aside instead. It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? You know, it always triggered me that you can never really get Father to see your point of view and talk it out like you have to destroy him. He's got such a warped, brainwashed personality and no other perspective apart from being raised by the Institute that it's understandable, but I always wish there was another option for you to like convince your son that, you know, and save him somehow, but sadly there's not. You can either join him or be against him. Seriously? All the enemies you've created? You, you can't imagine why I'd be standing here? Perhaps I didn't think to count you among them. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? Just came to gloat. <laughs> So, there are some speech options, but I don't think my character is going to be able to pass them. The only difference, if you do pass them, is you basically, he gives you the keys to shut down the synths that are currently resisting to avoid any more bloodshed of human life, effectively. And you can convince him that if you pass the speech options. Oh, I wanted to see you one last time before your whole empire comes crashing down around you. Fuck, that is a savage thing to say to your own son. Um, uh, are you following? <laughs> I didn't want it to end like this, Sean. I'm not a monster. I didn't want it to end like this, Sean. I'm not a monster. If that's what you tell yourself so you can sleep at night, so be it. Now go. Leave me. Sadness. So you can't leave him there. You've doomed humanity. You know that. There's nothing more to say. Like he honestly still thinks he's uh, in the right. I'll see you in hell. Sean, I'm sorry it's come to this. Are you in any pain? Yes, of course. But that will end soon enough, won't it? All thanks to you. Sean, just get out. So There's nothing more sad. to say. I wish there was some other way. You've made that impossible. The Commonwealth can have only one fate now. Son, just get out. There's nothing more to say. And then he goes into the conversation again. I'll see you in hell. Along with the rest of the Commonwealth. You've seen to that. He has all the comebacks. Everyone's saying kill him. Do we want to kill our son? Shoot him in the knee. He's trying to get into bed, the poor man. Oh. Engage evacuation protocol. Master security lockdown override. See, director access then synth shutdown. It's possible to access unless he gives you the access key. Go. Access granted. Now you should be able to reach the reactor. Sense our poor 
going through up here. But we won't leave without you. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, let's just have a quick check. Yeah, he doesn't even have the, the code on him. He has to actually tell tell you what it is. I mean, to be honest, like, um, morally, surely us killing him right now is much better than us waiting to, um, to kill him. You know, letting him either A, die of cancer, but he's clearly going to die from the nuclear explosion. So I think killing him now would actually be better. Let's go downstairs. Hello? Oh, mate! How are you still alive? What are you going to do to me right now? I'm <laughs> just retreating. Oh, God! <laughs> He's still alive. What is this machine my dad has created? Oh, no! I was messing around and someone actually died. <laughs> Lol. Boom! Get wrecked. That's how you get headshot, bro. Oh god, reload. Boom. There's another synth just down there, just trying to kill me. Hey, where's your head, bro? There it is. Woo! I don't, there is a unique weapon here you should get before you leave, but you can't get it afterwards, sadly, because the merchant is no longer there. So we've got to go to the reactor room now, guys, which is on the other side of the room. So let's head over. There's Demona. Let's get to that reactor. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, this poor guy. Oh, there's an institute scientist shouting, help me. I kind of want to go back and kill him, but we're going to carry on with the quest. <laughs> Watching it at school. Awesome. Thank you for your support. Shit, we got company. Look alive, everyone. Sensor anomaly detected. <laughs> How are you still alive? Oh, God, I'm going to get fisted to death. Oh, get Rex. No, I wanted to kill her, Piper. God damn it. She always triggered me. Oh. I'm gonna be sick. She got triggered that time I used her terminal and tried to kill me. And Piper just lays the gun them all down. What was so important about this anyway? Oh, okay, it has three phase three on it, that's why. And the progress on it. Personal notes. Ah, the official explanation for the accident in the FEV labs remains unsatisfactory. Facilities had says has have said nothing, and simply refer me to the director, and he keeps set ta and he's keeping something from me. I've been around long enough to see it. I wonder if he ever considered the rep the ramifications of what he's asking me to do. If he's worried that having me build a synth that's supposed to approximate him as a child might give me some unintended insights into his character. Probably not, and to be honest, it probably won't. Interesting stuff. So clearly the, everyone was trying to hush up what happened with the FEV virus. This bro, this guy, like literally, like he looks like an absolute boss. Look at him, that mustache. He's got it going on. Let's head on inside. The battle has cost him his arm. Put him out of his misery. Oh, great, we've got to follow the unnecessarily long corridor now. Huh? Oh, there's... Oh, my God. I forgot about these bloody laser turrets. Give me my weapon. Can't even see it, but it's hitting me. Ow. Go on, attack. Shit. It really held 
your own there, Blue. Really held your own there. I'm the reason we're alive, Piper. God damn it. Don't mess with me. Okay, this is it. Plant the pulse charge. We'll cover you while you attack. Ow. Where are you? Oh, God! <laughs> Did you see that? I saw it coming at me. It was like one of those memes where it's like, at this point, ESO knew you fucked up. Oh, my days. My life flashed before this my eyes there, work. guys. Thank God there was an autosave when we entered this room. Let me get my, uh, my weapons out again, you know? Uh, yeah. Get wrecked. Think I got them all? Easy, mate. So many turrets here. Okay, this time I'm gonna do this a bit more sneakily because I've got uh, so so many mods on okay, that change the damage that they instantly the kill me with rocket we'll launchers. There's not really much I could do about that. So the trick is to make sure they don't see me. Yeah, I'll sort my rads out. There's a de-radiation thing down here, so I can just use that. Oh god! It's got a fucking flamethrower. Holy crap! Oh, Piper doesn't care. No, watch out for the grenade! Incendiary grenade. God damn it. There's going to be so many explosives in this section. I think we might have to deal with them one at a time. They said they would cover me, and then Piper just comes down like, I'm going to give away your position like an absolute tool. Okay, this is it. Okay, let me get out my sniper rifle. Sniper, sniper, sniper. Plant the pulse charge. We'll huh? cover you while you're attacking. Whatever you are, Get I right. know you are out there. Movement detected. What was that? Whoa, what is that lag? What the hell? That was really weird. Okay, let me get my uh yeah, shotgun. I will do more Skyrim. I've got a Skyrim video coming out this weekend. Alright, let's save the game here again, because seriously. Oh, there's a flamethrower guy. Oh, he hurts a lot. He's got some incendiary grenades. That's why I'm waiting for him to throw one of those, because... Oh, wow, what is that lag? This guy's flamer makes my game lag like crazy. Uh, no, that's not the target. Whoa, come on. I'm on, I'm on like full health. This is when the damage mods make it very hard. Your sniper is hard, indeed. Upgrade your computer, I can't afford to. Oh, he doesn't have a head! He doesn't have a head! Spooky stuff! You know what? Let's fuck these guys. Get out of my way, get out of my way. Whoa! Desdemona walks in my way! What are you doing? Oh god. Whoa, okay, that's one way to kill him. Okay, let me get out of the deliverer. I keep hearing rockets and they just like, they scare me, this guy. Yeah. So oh, finally Desdemona's picked up an Institute pistol. She's finally figured it out. 25% chance to hit. Oh, nailed it. Nailed. Oh god, what's that? There's guys up there on this. I can't even see them. Oh, really? Come on. Get out of my- Oh my god! I'm so sorry! Oh my day! Didn't mean for that to happen. Get rid of my rads, thank you. Hello, Piper. 
You got us here. I won't let you down. No, I feel so bad. Look at his little sausage leg. He's gonna be sitting there for the rest of his life. Increased action point refresh speed. This is actually the best possible mod you can get for for this build we're using, to be honest. Let's put that on right now. Give me my legendary. Let's drop this one. Reactor terminal password. He's got the flamer. Why am I getting so many RAS? Like, seriously? Jesus. I'm trying to loot these guys. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, there was the bastard with the rocket launcher. He's got the Exterminator's Missile Launcher. Does 50% more damage against Mile Lurks and Bugs. Clearly that doesn't matter, he just killed me anyway. Might have to get rid of my radiation again quickly before we continue. I can't even stim pack this guy, he's just absolutely wrecked. He was standing in my way. We cannot fail. We cannot fail, like he's that determined to go on guys. Surely we're all gonna die of radiation. How are you not dead? There's Demona. Let's get to that reactor. We're right here, babe. YOLO! Activate! Jesus Christ, 43 rads! Oh, close it, close it. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna die here otherwise. Whoa! Oh, she's teleporting us out. I don't wanna be teleported out yet. I need to. No! There was a synth up here I wanted to loot. God damn it. I didn't want to leave. I have so much rads. Yes, I, I realize I, I'm, I know why I'm getting the radiation. <laughs> Hopefully that, that poor guy got teleported out of the Institute. He's not just there sitting there with one leg still. Okay, let me uh, just heal myself quickly. Uh, with a rad away. Where's my rads? Rad away. There it is. Oh, wrong one. Oh, well. We're all done, Tom. Let's get out of here while we can. I'm with you, boss, but this kid showed up. He says he's the professor's son. This bit's interesting. Hi there. Please, Dad. Don't leave me here. I want to go with you. Why did you call me Dad? Why did you call me dad? What? You're my father. Why else would I call you that? Oh, this is just what I need right now. Who told you I was your father? Who told you that I was your father? What do you mean? Nobody told me. You just are. Piper? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, this is just what I need right now. I'm not a baby, and I'm old enough to take care of myself. The only help I need is to get out of here. Now can we please go? I'm not a baby and I, I can take care of myself. I just need help getting out of here. I'm not so sure this is a good idea. So you have a choice here. You can either leave him here or you can take him with you. He is a synth, yeah. He is a synth that your dad was working on. Um, but as your dad said, he hopes, he said in the previous conversation, could you, do you think you could ever love this, you know, synth child as your son? And this is our dad's rather twisted idea, but you can understand it from, as I said, you know, he hasn't grown up with another perspective on the world. You can understand why he would do something like this. But if we actually do let him come with us, he's got a secret piece of dialogue um, in the form of a holotape. So we're going to accept him to come along. And to be honest, man, how could you... The only way to kill this ch any child in... Uh, you can't kill children in Bethesda games. Uh, you can't kill them in Skyrim. You can't kill them in Fallout. The only way you can kill a child is apparently by leaving them in the Institute and nuking it. That's the only way you can you can destroy him. We're going to take you with us. All right. You can come with me. Really? Do you mean it? No. <laughs> Just be like, no. On a second thought, no. I don't need baggage. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Look, kid, I'm leaving. If you want to come along, follow me. Don't you believe me? What? You don't believe me? No, no, I totally do. 
What I mean is, thanks. Now let's get out of here. Well, hello. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Okay, sure. Let's go. All right, Tom. Fire it up. You got it. Oh, okay, you said right. Okay, oh, we're, we're ready to get out of here. Evacuation order issued. You sure you know what you're doing? You sure you know what you're doing? This thing isn't gonna zap me into space or vaporize me or anything, is it? This baby is bona fide institute tech. Mind blowing shit. It's gonna work. Are you ready? Yeah, I know father's not your father, but his name is father. I realize that he's Sean, your son. <laughs> I I need a minute. Yeah, let's let's go. Yes, absolutely. Let's get the hell out of here. Don't have to tell me twice. It's all set to take you and Des to the detonation site. Then I'll rig it to send me and the kid here back to HQ right after. Don't worry, we'll look after him. Get him some better clothes, too. Yikes. <laughs> let's go before this whole Yikes. thermonuclear. Okay, let's let's go. Now our dad is still alive. Oh well, father, not our dad. I keep on it's so confusing that he's called father. Sean, our son, is still alive. And then we have Synth Sean as well, who is obviously still alive. Was I was I meant to be teleported out just then or what? Oh there we go. Perfect. The cat is more important than the kids on the Pridwin. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, it's nighttime. I don't want it to be nighttime. Use the detonator. I kind of want to watch the explosion at nighttime and daytime. Look at that view, though. Diamond City. Piper! What the? Wait a second, Piper. What, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Suicidal Piper. Press the big red button. It reminds me so much of uh, Tenpenny Tower in uh, Fallout 3. That was like one of the first quests I did in the game, I think. I accidentally blew up a whole city. I was like, yeah, I, I want a suite in this sweet-ass tower from some rich guy. I'll take it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow it up at nighttime. And then we're going to wait until daytime and blow it up again. Because I think it'll be cool to see it in both. Where are we looking now? CIT Ruins. I think it's over there somewhere. Didn't work. Didn't work, guys. Oh, right. <laughs> There's a button underneath the button. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Wow. We've only destroyed the entire wasteland. Jeez, look at all the smoke. I wonder what happens if you, like, uh console command to like run over there and activate it okay let's let's do it at daytime now we gotta watch it in daytime rip megaton indeed i accidentally nuked the place <laughs> whoopsie how can you accidentally do it it's kind of obvious what you're about to do nobody's gonna believe me it's actually inside the institute oh, i wonder if he has his leg back let's wait and see we'll check in a second Did you get the serum for Virgil? Yes, yeah, we're gonna go and take it to him after we, you know, after we've concluded this story. I'll reload and we'll go and take him the serum. He gives you a unique weapon as well, so it's quite cool. Um, we got the serum ages ago though, we just haven't given it to him yet, so. Don't worry about Virgil, I've got his back, you know. There's Demona. It is done. It's done. <clears throat> Nobody's gonna believe me. Hey there. This is the first time my people taste freedom. Hey, nobody's gonna believe me. Oh, he's the guy. Is this the guy with like he, he lost a leg? I think it is, isn't it? Now we get to watch it in at daytime. Here we go, guys. Let's let's. One sec. No, actually, let's not. I was gonna turn off the uh, the vision, the HUD. Oh my god. Look at the size of the blast. Diamond City also got nuked, kind of. I mean, the radiation would be catastrophic. Chow Daddy, get wrecked, son. Exactly. Look at that, man. Holy crap. Press it again. Activate again. <laughs> Could you imagine? 
Well, you just arrived in time to watch the Institute get blown up. Here's I the ending. I feel it wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. I close my eyes. I see my life before all of this, before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Wow. Deep stuff. The story end changes um, depending who you side with and what you do. Talk to Desdemona. Fucking hell, what the hell have we done, man? Look at that. CIT has been destroyed. My god. Rip. Smoke just disappearing in the background. Have you played Metro? Yeah, I've played all the Metro games. I'm looking forward to the next one. I'm actually uh, planning on checking out at Gamescom. I've got... Um, I'm quite friendly with Deep Silver because they also published uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. So hopefully I can get some early access for you guys on that as well. There's Demona. And so mighty have dozens of years, countless sacrifices. It all paid off thanks to you. Deacon says this was his plan all along. Oh, what is that face? I'm just glad it's over. Probably was his plan, to be honest. He's a bit of a strange guy, isn't he? With the Institute gone, what happens to the railroad? In days gone by, when us old-timers wax rhapsodic about life without the Institute, we recognized our work wouldn't end immediately. Hate runs deep in the Commonwealth, deeper than the soil. To them, synths are the living embodiment of the Institute's oppression. I'd understand if you want a much-needed vacation. But are you up for the next mission, Professor? Oh god, I keep forgetting that I called myself Professor. I thought it was funny at the time, but I cringe every time she says it now. Even after all we've done, the Commonwealth hates us. Well, we have just nuked half of it, so yeah. I was born ready. No, we're not going to say that. I'm done with all the missions. <laughs> Sorry, Des. I'm done with all the missions. You've more than earned that, but... We'll have safe houses full of synths looking for help on that last mile to safety. And we'd be stupid to think the Institute won't launch some sort of retaliation. So just in case, we'll keep the lantern lit for you. All of you. We've rescued enough of your people over the years. You don't have to say anything. You will protect them. We'll be safe. Just because you're out of the Institute doesn't mean you're safe. Or the railroad's job is over. There's a lot of work ahead of us, but together we'll get there. Oh, I think it's because it blew up. That's why I failed the quest. <laughs> I don't actually know which quest that was. There's Demona. It is done. It is done. You're right. Hey, this is the first time my people taste freedom. Okay. So there are some like miscellaneous quests you can now do for the railroad if you go back to HQ. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to show you guys. Firstly, our son Sean. Um, and secondly... It is done. It is done. Stop telling me that. And secondly, I want to show you guys um, 
Virgil and what happens if you give him the serum to make him human again. Should we go over to Virgil first and then we'll finish off with our son? Can we see anyone from here? Boom. Man. <laughs> Poor Glory. Yeah, she did die. She died in the uh, railroad's attack. Man, I wish I had my power armor on, actually, because I could have just jumped down here. That would have been fun. You know what? Let's do it anyway. Wee! Just get my gun out. Oh, yeah. Look at that ultimate dab right there. Love it. I'm also excited for, uh, what's it called, The Division 2. I never played the first one, but me and my girlfriend, like, really excited for the second one. She's like, I really want to, like, try and clear some free time to play that game. So if anyone's interested in joining me on that, you know, definitely subscribe to my second channel. It's linked in the description, because I'll probably be streaming it quite a lot on there when it does come out. Okay, let's let's go over to Virgil first, yeah? Uh, it's down here, isn't it? In the glowing sea. Where is his cave? Should be around here. Can't actually see it. Data. Special delivery far from home. Where is this quest? Investigate the radio broadcast, that's the DLC. Oh, here we go. Bring the serum to Virgil. Yeah. Map. Right, it should be around here somewhere. Oh, okay. My map is, like, really off for some reason. It's like my map is, like, the picture of the map is over here, and then the map markers are over here, so it's really confusing when I look at it every time. You want to get out of here? Oh god, radiation! It's like being back in the fucking institute. <laughs> Strong hated that. <laughs> yeah, if you give him the uh, the cure, Strong won't be happy because he's like, there's nothing wrong with being a super mutant. I wonder if he has any dialogue that we've blown up the institute. I don't think he'd really care, to be honest. Beep boop. Save the game. Look at him, why is he standing there with his gun raised? Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. Did you expect it to? It did, but I pulled myself together. <laughs> I suppose you did. Now, what about the serum? Did you find it? You can go through uh, some speech options that get harder and harder. Um, to explain that you didn't get the serum and you still complete the quest. I think he still gives you his unique weapon as a reward, but obviously it's a lot harder to get. Let's just play with him, though. What serum? We had a deal. I help you get into the Institute. You find the cure that I was working on. It should still be in my old lab, in the Bioscience Division. With any luck, they haven't found it yet. Volker probably still has the place sealed up while he goes through my research. Please, you have to find the serum. The serum. Okay, Hulk. Got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Piper likes that. The virus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands are formed. Are we going to test it? Has the uh, reverse transcriptase survived the nucleotide synthesis? Excellent question. Yes, yes, it has. Fascinating. No, oh, did you mean that as a joke? <laughs> well, it's time. There's only one way to test it. Yo, hello. Oh my god. It's huge. Just puts it out of his no. ass. We wait. Pulled it straight out of his ass cheeks. Injected himself. Stuffed it right back up there. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Um, okay, so... Yeah, that's it. It didn't work. That's it? What? 
Did you expect me to transform right before your eyes? This is science, not a two-cap magic show. I'm gonna rest Aww. for a while. I'm back in a few days, maybe a week, and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Yeah, Sarcasm's the best. Wait. Virgil? Whatever happens, thank you. Let's end it now. So yeah, we'll come back later and hopefully things will come to plan. So many cans. Let's go back to the railroad and speak to our son next. Strong smash! <laughs> Thank you for the hair compliments. Uh, right, so railroad, where are you? Here they are. Railroad HQ. Oh, really? Strong is voiced by Scene, the same character who plays Goku. No, I had no idea. I never really watched Dragon Ball Z, so I wouldn't know. What's your favourite character in the game? I think Father is actually one of the most interesting characters, to be honest. Uh, he's not my favourite, but I find him very... Like, usually I don't really have favourites necessarily. I just find people very interesting. Oh, look, he's got some new clothes. Hey, Sean. Dad, I was so worried. I thought I'd never see you again. Is it true? Did you really blow up the Institute? Why would you do that? Uh-oh. Oh my god. Father, my son Sean, real Sean, has programmed him to guilt trip me from the grave. I know it's hard to understand. Are you okay, Sean? Trust me, they deserved it. I know it's hard to understand. Are you okay, Sean? I mean, I'll miss them. But if it means everyone else will be safe, as long as you don't leave me, it'll be okay. You're you're not gonna leave me, right? Oh, so cute. Oh, Sean, where would I go? <laughs> I'm not a babysitter. Yeah, I wanna be like, I'm here for you. Don't worry, kiddo. I'm here for you. Okay. Oh, before I forget, Father, uh, he told me to give this to you. I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what it says, but I think it's important. Sean, do you want to get out of here? Go live somewhere else with me? Shall we send him to the Red Rocket truck shop on his own? There's like literally nothing there. Or shall we send him to be forever tormented by Preston in Sanctuary Hills? What do you reckon, guys? Okay. Torment it is. Nah, okay, we won't, we oh. won't do it yet. Okay, well, maybe some other time. Thanks Oh, anyway. rejection! I'll send him in a second. Let's, uh, let's have a listen to this, this holiday, savior. Uh, I don't even know what it's called, to be honest. It's annoying. Hopefully it's just like a message from Sean. None. Okay. Uh... Or so I saw what you gave me. Oh, Sean's holiday. This is it. Here we go. Prepare to be guilt tripped. It's going to be sad. If you are hearing this, then whatever conflicts you and I have endured are over. I have no reason to believe that you'll honor the request I'm about to make. But I feel compelled to try anyway. This synth, this boy, he deserves more. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. It is my hope that you will take him with you. I would only ask that you give him a chance. A chance to be part of whatever future awaits the Commonwealth. You know, it would be cool if there was actually a mod that um, had the grown-up version of, of Sean ascend to Sanctuary Hills quickly. Do you want to get out of here? Um, Go live you know, somewhere like else? He actually grows up and he becomes like your follower. Or like maybe okay. even the next game could have like Sean and you play, the, you play the game as a sick so you don't know you're a simp or something. Or like something interesting like that, you know what I mean? Like to sort of further the story a little bit. 
But um, it's really interesting what he says there, I think. Let's wait a few hours because we've got to go back to Virgil and hopefully he's uh, he's still alive. We'll find out in a moment. But uh, yeah, Sean. I think it's, it's interesting because Father... Initially, when we were speaking about the synths and the fact, you know, like, they're literally people and he's created them and he's responsible for them and so on. Father always talks, says like, well, they're fucking machines, you know, like, there's, there's nothing to them. They're just robots and they're not like humans. And he doesn't really acknowledge that they are. And he's almost like created something that can think for itself and be its own person and has like freedom of speech and like will and almost like a soul in a sense. And then when he... He makes Sean, like the younger Sean, which initially started as an experiment into being our son. It kind of says to me that maybe he he like actually thinks that synths could be humans, kind of like the railroad does, which makes me think maybe he's like changed his perspective on like what synths are and what he's made. So it's like his last ditch effort to kind of like make amends for what he's done, because that only really happens like you know if if you uh, choose to kill father or like go against him. I mean, for us, he died in the nuclear explosion. We didn't kill him ourselves, so we feel slightly better. Let's head over to Virgil now. Oh yeah, there we go, they got the update now. Check on Virgil. Back to the glowing sea we go, Piper. What would Dan look without the beard? Crazy. I look a lot younger, I think. If you actually go back to the older videos, I think you see the slow progression of it growing. Gonna have a lot more limbs and a lot less hair if we stick around here too much longer. You know, the funny thing is, is that he's in the middle of the glowing sea. In order to get back, he's gonna walk through it again and probably become a super mutant <laughs> or die of radiation. Lol, Rip Virgil. You've not thought this through. Oh my uh, god! It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is a qualified success? This is a qualified success? There were some side effects to the process. I seem to have hair again, and I've retained some muscle mass. The genetic resequencer needs more work. Still, I take your point. This is a significant advance, but only for one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. Welcome to make use of my lab. Or help yourself to any of this junk, if you want it. In the, the intro meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. The radio signal from the Institute isn't coming in anymore. Something happened, didn't it? Something terrible. Triggered, triggered. Oh god, he's gonna try to kill us. Oh, I blew that place to hell. Nothing left. It's gone. I made sure of that. Aren't you better off now? It's gone. I made sure of that. Aren't you better off now? Better off? Well, you. Maybe personally, but the Institute had done some questionable things, but. I think. I think maybe you should go. For good. I think you should leave. Virgil. Just please. Leave me alone. Intruder. Identify your Oh god, I forgot about the robots. That's it, Piper. Oh yeah. Piper versus robots. Piper wins. Making that smell needs Fusion. Virgil's me. rifle. There we go. Does 50% more damage against super mutants. Now he does give it to you unless, you know, you do what I did and blow up the institute. I think it's kind of really weird how he gets triggered by that though. Like, why why is he pissed? Do you know what I mean? It doesn't really make sense. The Institute are after him. He even says maybe it's better for me, and then he gets triggered by it. I wonder what happens if I say I blew that place to hell if he just starts killing me. Oh my god! Jesus Christ, how, am I on drugs? Like, what, what's going on? Piper's doubling here. And, and I think we've got to kill these turrets now. They're, yeah, they are. Not, not friendly turrets. Anymore. 
There we go. So there you go. That was the story of Virgil. There's a few other ways we could have dealt with that, but uh, that's how we decided to go with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this Fallout 4 main quest line playthrough. If you guys want to see more, give the video a like, and uh, I might I might do one of the DLCs at some point. I think I'm going to work on some other projects I've got going, and then we'll come back like to the daily live streams again, and we'll do some more Fallout or even some Skyrim, depending on what you guys want to see. But uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my second channel linked in the description, where I'm actually probably going to be live streaming on it later today, playing some Hunt Showdown. So if you guys want to check that out, join me there and on Twitch as well. But thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.